Hi. This cat is the most unique soul that I've ever met. How's your dinner? I'm Jandy, and this is Bruce's story for GOB. I was volunteering for our local shelter, and a woman called the shelter, and she said, I have this neonatal kitten underneath dumpster on the hot cement, and so I went out to get the kitten. On the way there, they called me back, and they said, never mind, you don't have to go. The woman decided she was going to keep this neonatal kitten. Good job. So I said, okay, but there was something inside me that wanted to go anyway. <laughs> Since when is there only one newborn kitten? And I started looking through all the dumpsters just to make sure there weren't any other kittens. And underneath the last dumpster, I heard this big bellowing meow. And it was Bruce. <coughs> I looked at the mama cat. I put out traps. I talked to the neighbors. I was really hoping to get the mom and bring her and reunite her with the babies. But I could never find her. Let me see your big eyes. I did get in contact with the other woman. His had his sister. And she said, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I said, they'll have a better chance if they're together. So she brought the girl over to me and I fostered both of them together. Good job, Bruce. The first couple of months, I was feeding around the clock every two hours. Oh, you're so precious. When Duke was old enough, Casey adopted her. I was keeping an eye out for people to adopt Bruce, but I realized I wasn't going to trust anybody else with this cat. He was mine. <laughs> He's adventurous and vivacious. I'm watching. He has a spirit that is larger than life. <laughs> you got me. Bruce, Bruce, my baby. <laughs> I can laugh and you can be in trouble at the same time. I do a lot of rescue work. I work <laughs> with a lot of animals. But the bonds that Bruce and I have, I think that he understands how much I love him and he loves me in the same way. What's wrong? I know, it's okay. At eight months old, he suddenly fell ill. I took him to the emergency room and he was diagnosed with large cell lymphoma. Don't worry, you're okay. I knew this veterinary oncologist was wonderful. And I called her, I'll never forget, on a Saturday. I begged her, I said, is there anything I can do to get in on Monday? She said, we can't wait till Monday. She said, can you come in today, Saturday night? She mm -hmm. opened the clinic and she gave him a rescue mm -hmm. remedy. And she said, if this works, we can talk about the next death. Oh, good boy. And thereafter, it was eight months of treatment and it did not look like he was going to survive. You're such a good boy. I could not give up on him. He went into a remission, shocked everybody. You go to eat? I just wanted him to be able to play again and be a kitten. And we got to go on all our adventures together to the river and on trips, and we got to play with his litter mates and his friends. Then this summer, he relapsed, and that was in July. They gave him the same prognosis, a uh, few weeks to a few months. And here we are in January, and he's doing great. Good job. His pain is very well managed. He's happy, he feels good, he's responded to treatment, he's just a little miracle man. Good morning. He wants to tell me about everything that he does in his life. Tell me about it. He has a different meow for everything, and we have our own little language. You got sign? He has a scream for when I leave the house without him. He runs to the window, and he bellows after me. The whole street can hear him. He doesn't want to be left at home. Who is it? This kitten had a different start in life in that we were never apart. And I think that's why we developed such a bond that we did. He's my baby. 